Hey, what's up guys? It's Shining Polaris and this is uh, AW Dynamite just ended. So I'm going to do my usual recap and opinions. There's going to be a lot of opinions in today's episode. Um, I did not make a video. Maybe I'll still do it, but I just came back from almost a week-long vacation in Florida. Um, I went to uh, all the shows for Revolution Week. So I went to Dynamite, Dark, um, Rampage, Fan Fest, and Revolution. And it was just a fantastic time, except for Fan Fest, which if you saw my Twitter, you know all about that. So anyway, um, yeah, so I'm just going to talk about a little bit about uh, today's episode. Um, just wanted to throw it out there that it actually was not that good, in my opinion. And I think a lot of people agreed with it, too. Something was off with the pasting. Um, the matches seemed, a lot of them were kind of like squashy matches, random stuff. Um, I also think they're trying to build it up for next week, which is like their St. Patrick's uh, episode. It's going to be in Texas. So I think they want that to be very strong and this to be like kind of a filler episode. But it's still like, especially after a pay-per-view um, shouldn't be like a filler episode, but that's what it felt like. But anyway, I'll just voice my opinions on that. So, go right to the first thing. This was, uh, uh, Jericho and Eddie Kingston, and they're just talking about their match, because, uh, Revolution, Eddie, uh, Kingston beat a Jericho, and he tried to shake his hand, but Jericho didn't. So, um, they, you know, they, they're just talking about that, and they want to still, you know, have this, this little sportsmanship going on. So, um, uh, as they were, like, look at each other, I don't know if they... Did they shake hands? I don't even remember. But anyhow, um, you hear the music of 2.0. So 2.0 came out. And they started, uh, they started like beating up. Uh yeah, they started beating up on uh on Kingston. But then uh Santana Ortiz uh came in. Um oh man, I may have messed this up, but I just know that Santana Ortiz came in. And um it looked like they had uh it looked like they had the the bat for uh you know for Jericho, but actually oh no what yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that the bat for Jericho. And then it was Jericho that, that went and started beating up Santana Ortiz. And so you know that's basically like they broke up right there. Um, Hager came in, started beating up on, on all, uh, all you know, Lax or whatever they want to call themselves. And um, and then Jericho and his new faction uh, stand tall. So it was Jericho, Hager, uh, 2.0, which is um, Matt, uh, Jeff, Matt Lee, Jeff Parker, I probably was their last name, Daniel Garcia, and Jericho called themselves the Jericho Appreciation, um, uh, uh, what was the S word? I don't even remember, it's such a stupid name. Anyway, society, is that what it's called? I don't even remember. It, the, the, the thing is, and I put this on Twitter, it's, it, he, the shirt says J-A-S, and if you have already posted on to be funny, J-A-S is slang for horny. Okay, so anyway, I just thought that was hilarious. But anyhow, so that's their new group name, which um, which I think which I think is good because, you know, sometimes Jericho and his group can be silly and 2.0 is like a really silly group. And, you know, and it will elevate uh, them up. And, the, you know, you're, you're trying to get you're trying to get Daniel Garcia up. So kind of like what uh, Chris did for uh, Sammy. So uh, Sammy's not officially out of the group yet. Uh, though I think he, he is basically, he basically is. And then, um, Santana and T's of course are out. So anyway, you have that. Um, my opinion of that was, uh, yeah, I'm very glad that Sammy and, um, Santana and T's are gone, but the group name is very stupid. <laughs> I mean, very long. I don't know. Not rolling out the tongue. At least say, I don't know, call something else. I have no idea. But anyhow. All right. So then the next, next match was, uh, Adam, uh, Hangman Page versus Dante Martin, and, um, like, I didn't know why we had this match, so that's why I'm like, oh, okay, like, he just faced Adam Cole in this really, really good main event for Revolution, and then now facing uh, Dante. I understand it is to put Dante over, which is great, because he's, like, you know, super young, super talented, um, but, yeah, to me, it just didn't make sense, and then because of that, I just, um, uh, didn't really watch the match, but anyhow, at the end, that's where, that's where it matters, uh, Adam Page being so classy, trying to put, uh, Dante over again, you know, saying like, uh, you know, he had to be a singles person because uh, his brother got injured for like a year. But he's basically telling him just work your work hard, work your way back up, and then maybe we can face for the world title again. So that was really cool that Adam Page said that. But then Adam Cole came in, and Adam is like really mad because he's like, I'm the one supposed to have the you know supposed to be the champion, blah blah blah, and uh, basically uh, Adam Cole was like, next week, um, 
that, uh, you know, we're going to have a six man tag and you can pick two people that you want. And I will pick, you know, my best friends who used to be your friends, blah, blah, blah. So, so this was confusing. This is, this is, this is the criticism of the episode. So basically he was saying all that, which you, which you obviously think, oh, he must mean the Young Bucks, but he never said the Young Bucks. So I was jokingly saying online that it's going to be the Briscoes, <laughs> but but everybody was saying it's going to be, uh, because he kept saying that, um, that you think he means maybe uh, uh, John Silver and Alex Reynolds. Now, I have, may have missed everything, because I'm not really paying attention to Dark Order, I'm not really a big fan of them. But um, I was like, I was like, oh, I guess they have a falling out. So, I mean, that would make sense that he's like, but then why would say my best friends? Because he's not, oh, no, he is, he, he, is, he is kind of best friends with them. I'm forgetting about BTE, ha! Huh? Anyway. So that's what people are thinking, and uh, that that Paige will be the one to pick the Young Bucks to be on his side. But anyhow, none of that happened. So, but we'll talk about we'll talk about that in a second. So that was that segment, um, and then the next one was a, another uh, squash match. This was um, uh, the new tag team of John Moxley and Brian Danielson with their manager William Regal, which is very cool. And they basically did a squash match against. Um, I guess their team is called the War Chorus. I don't know. It's just some, whatever, one-off team. But um, I know, they're, they're, they're famous on the Indies. <laughs> anyway, but, <laughs> so, but, but it was after that is, is the main thing. You had uh, Regal, like, um, long promo, just, just about how him and Danielson, you know, uh, uh, worked together for, like, over 20 years and blah, blah, blah. Just basically explaining, kind of explaining the point of their new new group or whatever, you know. Um, so that's that's cool. It was, a real, it was actually really good, so... I would say go and go and watch that. Um, yeah, to have Regal and AEW, that is very cool. So um, that was a good, a good part. Um, uh, yeah. So then, and then after that, uh, let's see. Yeah. So um, then there was a. This may be out of order, but still. Uh, then they had like the segment with with Adam Page and the Dark Order. So this is where they're they're talking about. It was uh, John Silver basically saying to Adam, you know, about how he has to pick. Uh, who his tag team partners are going to be, and he's like, you know, um, John Silver's like, yeah, you know, you can be, it can be me and Alex again or whatever, and Adam Page was like, oh no, you know, uh, uh, Jurassic Express, they want to uh, face the Bucks again, so yeah, and then he just walks away. So I was very confused about that segment because, first of all, Adam Page was muttering, and I really could barely hear him, and. So he's already assuming that that Adam Cole had picked the Young Bucks and he's going to pick Jurassic Express. I took that the total wrong way and figured he was going to pick the Young Bucks. I don't know. To me, that was just see the show. The segments didn't like vibe with me, and I just, it, it just I didn't get it. So anyhow, so there he goes. He picks his partners, which is uh, Jurassic Express. Um, you could see the uh, Dark Order is getting kind of like upset that he picked you know Express than one of them. So I'm guessing. This will uh, either, either Dark Order will turn heel. I just can't see. I, I, you know, I see this online. They're like, obviously Dark Order is going to turn or split from Adam Page. So would that make Dark Order the heel or Adam Page will turn heel? Dark Order, I feel like, is, too, is still too sympathetic and still too, too like, happy and all that to be heel. I would rather see Adam Page turn heel, but I have no idea. But I just know that that group is, is them and page is splitting anyhow so so then and then shortly after that i'm just going to go with the adam cole segment so it was adam cole with a red dragon the young bucks he's saying the same thing like he's like ready to to pick the young bucks as as his it looks like that okay he, he was going to pick them as his partners but then matt jackson was like no we we don't want to have anything to do with uh with adam page or whatever and cole's like no i mean i'm going to pick red dragon and then, but it was like, everybody was like kind of unsure about that. So, so maybe he is, I still feel like the Dark Order is going to get involved somehow. So I don't know, even though it says like, yes, he's going to have Red Dragon as his partner, which is super obvious, but either something's going to happen, either we double turn this, right? And it's going to be, you know, Johnny and, and Alex turning on Paige with the Young Bucks turning on Cole. I don't know. Well, we'll see. We'll see for that next week. But again, the whole thing was didn't make any sense. Okay, so one of the better segments, which I really liked, was a Wardlow's a promo. So you almost never hear Wardlow talk, of course, because him being MJF's security guard, MJF is not letting Wardlow do anything except help him win. And uh, at Revolution, 
um, you know, Wardlow won, um, he, he can grab the ring, so he's, he's for the Face of the Revolution match, and then he, um, he, like, kind of gave CM Punk the diamond ring to beat MJF, so this is basically a little promo, uh, confirming that he no longer wants to be, uh, with Jim, MJF or be part of the pinnacle, and again, this is another very good segment, very heartfelt, you know, he's talking about his family, whatever, he works so hard, and all he does is help other people, but no one ever gives back to him, so he's saying that he's ready to, you know, to take it all, so, um, very, again, like I said, very good, uh, segment, I am really hoping he wins the TNT title next week, I was 100% sure that was gonna happen, but then, at the end of the, at the end of the day, ugh, it actually, probably not anymore, but we'll explain to that later, um, if he does lose, the, uh, next week, it will probably be huge interference by MJF, and then, uh, and then, yeah, maybe, it'll be a long build, but, I mean, maybe at Double or Nothing, we'll have that MJF versus Wardlow, um, even though that's, like, two months away. Anyway, so, so then, uh, let's see, well, what else am I got? So, after that, what do we have? Um, the women's match, which I didn't, uh, I, I mean, I didn't really watch it. It was Layla Hurst versus Thunder Rosa. You already knew Thunder Rosa was gonna win, because, so, at Revolution, a lot of people were upset, including myself. That, that Thunder Rosa lost against Britt Baker. But now we see the bigger picture. Thunder Rosa, they're saving her to win that at her hometown, which is next week. So that's that's perfect. I'm, I'm happy with that. So she won the match, going to face Britt Baker in, in a steel cage for uh, the title. And as you see, the women's belt, uh, not this one anymore. It is uh, the new one that's like more like more like squared, right? Because the rest of these are kind of circled, circle shaped. So that, I actually like that belt a lot. Um... Let's see, uh, any other important segments? Um, let's see, I don't, I think I got everything. Uh, and then, uh, so, so, okay, the main event. So the main event is, uh, I'm sorry if I apologize, I missed something. Uh, I don't know, but, uh, the main event, you had Sammy Guevara versus Scorpio Sky. Uh, Sammy, uh, had, uh, Tay Conti at ringside, kind of helping them a little bit, but then you have Scorpio Sky with his whole, uh, group, uh, you know, the American top team. They, they are all there, um, including uh, Paige uh, Van Zandt, who is um, officially signed with AW. So she is now part of that. That is very interesting. Um, yeah, so the match went on, and I am very, very surprised. Obviously, this was, was a lot of shenanigans. Scorpio Sky won. I, I, I could not believe that. So I was like, what? He won? So yeah, so he beat Sammy for the TNT title. And that, like, made me sad because, um, uh, now I apologize, I'm not a big Scorpio Sky fan, and I felt like, I know America Top Team have been, like, struggling to, like, you, uh, for a long time, right? They're trying to go after, after the title belt. But then, since I wasn't paying too much attention, I felt like Scorpio Sky just appeared. <laughs> just appeared, like, a couple weeks ago to go after the title. So, anyway, that was just very shocking to me. And that I really, really wanted Warlow to win next week. So there's no way Scorpio only has a one-week reign. That would be great if he did. And that would just show Wardlow's dominance. <laughs> you know, like, just just go in there and just beat his ass, right? <laughs> one-week title reign. I am down for that. But um, now that I see that I don't think it's going to happen, I think it's going to be Wardlow winning, or almost winning, but then MJF screws him over. So I think, so then Scorpio will retain. That's what I think is going to happen. So... Um, so we got that, uh, so my thoughts on this whole episode was that, um, oh my god, can you believe what I forgot? <laughs> I'm glad, we saved the best for last, alright, let me just say that, we saved the best for last. Um, this is actually the part I really wanted to see, um, this was, uh, uh, HFO, uh, or AFHO, -A -A whatever their stupid club name, they had a, uh, segment and, uh, and this was really the highlight of the episode, okay? Everything else was super mid <laughs> compared to this. Um, you had, uh, you had uh, one side, it was uh, Andrade, uh, Jose the Assistant, and Butcher and Blade. The other side was Matt Hardy um, and Private Party. And they were, they were both discussing about they are ready to basically kick Jeff Hardy out of their group. So Jeff was like, okay, then we vote. Um, and he was like, you know, he kept saying like private party, they're always going to be with me. So you already, you already lost. I don't know why they didn't have Butcher and Blade uh, voted, but, uh, Andrade Jose obviously wanted to kick Hardy out. Hardy looked at private party. 
they were like, no, keep him in. But then as Hardy was running his mouth to Andrade, uh, Private Party slowly put their thumbs down. And then he turns around and he's just like so shocked that Private Party, you know, finally uh, want to break free from him. So the whole, uh, all of um, Andrade's people, which are all on the same side now, they started beating um, Matt Hardy up. And then and you can tell I was just waiting like, okay, who's going to come to save Matt Hardy? So all of a sudden you hear that sweet music that's from WWE. I was very, I was very shocked. Uh, Jeff Hardy comes out, dancing to his music, runs into the uh, ring and beats all of uh, Andrade's um, people up. And uh, it was, it was very cool to see because I, I said it this morning. I was like, okay, Andrade, <laughs> Andrade. Jeff Hardy will show up in this Andrade Matt Hardy segment. But a lot of people were like, no, that's impossible because today is the day that his contract expired. So they're like, no, it expires at the end of today, not like, you know, the day began and he's free. So I wasn't really sure, but I'm like, there's nothing else exciting on this episode. And why would they, why would AHFO have, you know, like a big meeting? So that was really good. And, and I really liked the part at the end where, where the uh, Hardy boys, they, they like hugged each other and you could just see in the motion, like finally they are back together, you know? So you already know they probably, they're probably going to do their last, you know, tag team title run. Uh, I don't know if they're going to win the title. I'm just saying they're going to go after the titles probably before they retire, but it's going to be, it's going to be great because everybody wants to see Hardy boys versus the Young Bucks. So anyway, um, that was the highlight of the, of the show. Um, so overall, my opinion of the show was its root was not really good, but I'm not going to super criticize it because uh, even the worst AW episode is still better than the WWE episode, just saying. And, um, and I know they're building up for uh, next week. But we had uh, Jeff Hardy there as, you know, finally, so that was very good. So yeah, so I got to say about that, um, I have to work the rest of the week, but I would, I'm going to try to maybe just try to do a short video of my experience at Revolution because that was a lot of fun. Um, I enjoyed posting videos, but it uh, seemed like my Revolution videos are, have been taken down. So I don't know if I can do any more Revolution videos because I don't know which one they don't like. Because some are still up. A lot of them have been taken down, though. At least half of them have been taken down. Um, but anyhow, all of them will be uploaded onto my TikTok. So follow me at TikTok at Shiny Polaris AW if you want to see some Revolution clips. Uh, follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Shining Polaris. And uh, yeah, so I try to keep this short. So that's all I got to say. And I will probably add more in another video. But thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time, right? Bye.